This isn't about money. It's about justice. Blood for blood. Uh, that's not going to happen. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to more of the original Mass Effect. Hill here with Sundarius Shepard looking over his journal and assignments. We kind of went to the wrong place when we encountered more of those cybernetic husks. This is actually the um, mission that I was looking for that we picked up when we were on the planet Pharos. You found a confidential transmission while on Pharos. It is unclear exactly what's going on, but it appears Exogeny sent some kind of sample to a research facility on Nodacrux. All right, so we are going to investigate Nodacrux, which is located in the Vostok system of the Maroon Sea Cluster. Okay. Let's go. And we are currently in orbit above Chaska. This is where we discovered the cybernetic husks. Uh, we are still here in the same area. We are in the Maroon Sea. Let's head to Vostok then, Joker. Well, I guess Vostok is a different system, but anyway, here we are in Vostok, approaching the planet Clomarthu. Okay, there's nothing here. Alco. Nothing here. Patayton. Alright, we can survey this. Matriarch's writings recovered. Scans of Patayton's... Oh god, I'm sorry. Scan of Patayton revealed a strange unmanned vessel in orbit around the planet. Tally brought it on board and determined it was a sorry maid, but very old. She discovered several ancient artifacts inside the vessel, including one of Matriarch Dillanaga's writings. Boy, that Matriarch got around. Oh, 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 there's something unknown here. Let's send out a scanning wave. A metallic asteroid will travel to it and survey it. And we found a deposit of palladium. Uh oh, here we go. Nota Crux. Let's see, is there anything else here that needs scanning? No. Alright, we are Nota Crux. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. Alright. This might be it. This might be the planet that is notorious for the steep terrain and, and not being able to control the Mako. It might be Nodacrux. Anyhow, Nodacrux is a verdant world with abundant water, temperate climate, and thick nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere, and a rich ecosystem. It would seem to be perfect for life. The relatively high percentage of oxygen makes humans feel energized and alive. Though it has also allowed insect analogs to grow to frightful sizes. Okay, I'm already scared. Maybe we should skip this planet. Unfortunately, Nodacrux is a case of almost not quite. Thunderstorms are as common as on Earth, but in Nodacrux's thicker, oxygen-rich atmosphere, they are deafening and spark constant wildfires. More damning, however, are the large and ubiquitous tufts of pollen 
that float on the high pressure air. In humans and other oxygen breathing species, they cause severe or lethal allergic reactions. So do we have like a, um, a warning here? I guess not. Let's get our crew together. Get our landing party together. Um... I want to take Rex. This might be difficult if I do this, what I'm thinking. Take Ashley. This might make it difficult. But we're going to do it. I'm not sure if I have first aid. I think Ashley has the first aid talent. But I don't know if we have a lot of points in it. All right. Planetfall to Nota Crux successful. All right, we already have something on our radar. Let's head in that direction. But before we begin, let's go ahead and level up Ashley. Look at this, 22 points. Oh, she does have first aid. All right, I want full first aid. Thank you. Um... Soldier, fitness. Heal, assault training. Hmm, do we want her to have sniper rifles or pistols? We'll go with sniper. Okay. And you can see we are at level 50. Everybody else looks like they're leveled up. And the level cap is, of course, 60, which is impossible to achieve in a single playthrough. So, thus, we have modified our Mako to give us, I guess, about three times the damage that you would get if you were on foot. So let's just test this out here. Yeah, look at that 420 experience. 840. Four twenty again. And yeah, we don't even have to get out and try to fight by hand. Because this, this, is, this is the grind right here, trying to get from level 50 to 60. It takes an inordinate amount of experience. Everybody's got on breathing apparatus. Good. We don't want anyone to get any sort of infection or anything of that nature. Hmm. Can't interact. Uh, here we go. Oh, decryption skill too low. Oh no. So. Oh no. I brought somebody that doesn't have any decryption. You know what? <laughs> We've got to go back to the Normandy. Gotta go back. Sorry, guys. You, you, the wrong crew. The wrong crew. All right, let's try this again.
All right, we will take Ashley. Wish I could take Rex, I really do, but we'll take Caden instead. Take our original squad. Okay, and we are back on Notacrux. Let's check. Caden, oh, 13 points. Okay, so... I'm gonna give him full Sentinel. Uh, let's give him full Medicine. With Master Neural Shock. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and give him points in Throw. Okay, but he has our encryption and electronic skills that we're going to need. Alright, let's see if we can't get back. Wow, I'm kind of turned around now. I don't know where those red markers were. I don't think it was here. But we'll, we'll head over there to that anomaly. And are you telling me that I've lost track of where... Oh, hold on. This looks familiar, like we went this way, but nah, I don't think we did. Maybe we did. I would really like to get back to that uh, prefab where we had those devices and stuff that we could pick up. Oh, no. Wow, lost already. Okay, well, let's head to the marker. This is a really nice green planet, though. But, not really much in the way of vegetation. What's over here? Maybe it was over here? Do you see trees anywhere? I don't see any. <laughs> nah, I don't think this was it either. But we have something coming up on the radar. getting um yeah it has to be notacrux look at look at these jagged mountains if we can even get up here this this will be incredible yeah look at this yeah it's not it's not the mako it's the terrain it really is Let's go, let's go back towards our marker. Sorry if we lost the uh, structure and the stuff that we need. Oh my goodness. This is going to be, see, yeah, it is definitely Notacrux. Look at this. We, we are barely getting this episode started and already we're running into problems with the wrong crew and unable to navigate on the surface of the planet. This is just going to be so much fun. You know, it would be great if I had a better sense of direction so I could find out where we uh, had left off, but that's not going to happen. Okay, um, getting close. Uh 
Ah, here we go. In route. What is this? Okay, ancient debris. Okay, a Turian insignia has been recovered. This escape pod is half buried in material that has washed down from the mountains. Though it has obviously been here for centuries, the computer still has power. Linking in with your hard suit, you recover a batch of files containing data on the Thracia colony. Okay. Map, please. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, here we go. Can we get to that location? You, you see all this rock. Yeah, somehow this, this landscape only it could be altered and made less steep. All right, we're we're making it though. try to go this way but we may have to go down into the valley and up on the the green part of the map well, we're, we're kind of making it kind of making it I can't fault the Mako. I mean, it, it's doing its thing. But these rocks and these cliffs and these mountains. Okay, we got some sort of, um, looks like space cows out here. I'll try not to kill them. Even though I'm sure that's everyone's uh, first inclination. Okay, a crashed probe. Got it. All right, Inferno Rounds 9 and High Explosive Grenade Upgrade 9. We'll take those. Okay, what else have we got? The science facility. Okay, let's see if we can get there. Wow, I'm really upset that I can't find that structure and it's not even on the map. But there were about three containers that we could have looted and now I'm going to be without whatever it was that was in there. Oh my goodness, can we even get up here? Oh, come on! Wow, okay, we, we, we got halfway, we're getting close. for killing those two. All right, 
right, we have some corpse out here. Corpses. All right, let's do a save. Head inside. All right, looks like we have an upgrade kit here in this room. Sledgehammer rounds and snow blind rounds. We will gel those. Oh, look at me. I've got over 200 um, Omni gel. We really are getting up here in the world. What the hell is this? Look at that. Yuck. <laughs> Let's go. All right, people. Radar is acting up here. Let's see who's... Everybody got the right guns? Looks right. Yep. Hostile spotted. Alright, we got a creeper coming right at us. Caden, I think you need to throw him. These guys might want to come back. Okay, looks like we may be clear. Nope, we're not clear. Use neural shock. Let's see how it re reacts to that. Ah, killed it. Because you've got master neural shock. Good, Commander. Caden, that was very that was very good. All right, we're just checking for containers. Okay, looks like this area is clear. It might be time for me to purchase my first Spectre weapon. I think we can get the... Uh, Assault Rifle level 10 at this point. Okay. Locked crate. Carpov 9 pistol, an Equalizer 9 sniper rifle, and Ursa 9 Turian armor. We'll take all that. Alright, another locker. Okay, a Lancer 9 assault rifle, a Thunder 9 assault rifle, and a Punisher 9 sniper rifle. Alright, we'll just take all that. Okay, a Breaker 8 Assault Rifle, we will gel that one, a Kovalov 9 Assault Rifle, and a Reaper 9 Sniper Rifle, we'll take those. Thank you. I'm doing pretty good with these puzzles tonight, I don't know if you guys noticed that. 
All right, let's do a save. And let's see what we've got in here. Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, chief exogeny researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. Not so fast. First you're gonna tell me why this place is overrun with Thorian creepers. How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists. So I destroyed it. Mm. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. No, You already there know isn't. the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the creepers here. Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Mm-hmm, you could say that. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? <laughs> well, I think Shepard is going to be the authorities in this case. Too many people died here. Their blood is on your hands. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. This isn't about money. It's about justice. Blood for blood. Uh... That's not going to happen. Oh, yes, it is. Open fire. Open fire! All right, Singularity. Um... Oh, they don't even have... Uh, we'll use <laughs> Sabotage. Ash, what have you got? Pretty much nothing. Where is, um... I thought you had... Like overkill. What happened to overkill? Oh well. Alright. We'll deal with the other ones in a moment. Okay. Exogeny's second rate mercs proved no match for Singularis. I mean, for a trained Alliance Marine. With the last of the science crew dead, there is no reason there is no reason to linger here okay wow look how powerful he is all targets down singularis okay what have we got here in the technician kit cryo explosive and high explosive A malfunctioning object high explosive rounds and oh Level 10 Inferno Rounds. Okay. 
Well, even the corpses are gone. Oh, wetware. Ooh, ooh, a Prodigy 9 and Polaris 9 biotic amp. Okay. Oh, and more. Okay, some Metagel. Anything else? Alright, let's um, check out these amps. I think I've already got the best one, though. I think we have a... Um... Yeah, I've got the Savant 9. But the Polaris uh, 9 is... Oh, wow, look at the cooldown. Yeah, these... I'll make sure that... Um... Well, let's, hold on. Let's look at Caden. What does he have? A Prodigy... Four? Uh, let's give him the Polaris. Okay. And we can Omni Gel this one. All right. Save. All right, it is time to get out of here. I guess we're just going to have to um, write off that other uh, facility that we can't find on the map anymore. That's too bad. You know, now at this stage of the game, it, it will only, you know, boost my money and all that kind of stuff. All these uh, items. Okay, let me just make sure we're not leaving anything behind. Yeah, these were the only three markers. We're headed back to the Normandy. I mean, I suppose I could, you know, spend some time scouring the planet, but... Eh, I don't know. Maybe when I turn off the recording, maybe I'll go back down there. I don't know. Anyhow, folks, that concludes our exploration of Notacrux and the mysterious message that we got, the, the signal beacon that we received on Pharos. Mystery is now solved. So thank you all for watching. This is Hill, and I'm out.